Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and today we'll be making chorizo stuffed chicken wings. You heard me right, we're going to be stuffing chicken wings today. How in the heck do you stuff a chicken wing? Well first you gotta take the bones out, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so we're starting with a whole wing today and we're going to get this thing kicked off by slicing down on the knuckle at the drum at end. So we want to break all ties that the cartilage and muscle have to the end of this bone. So we're just gonna work our knife around, trying to sever all those little bits. And then we're gonna take and push down to free the meat. Just push it straight down the bone. And look at that, exposes all of that bone. We're getting all the way to this next knuckle right here. And before we go any further, we're gonna pop that out. That's just gonna free this up to pull out a little bit easier. So again, we're almost turning this wing inside out now. Keep putting some pressure on it, and then you'll be able to pull this thing right out. Now what you're left with here is some of this softer cartilage and then the two bones that run through the flat. We've got to get through this softer cartilage first. And what you really got to be careful of is that you're not going to be cutting through any of the skin. We want to keep the skin as intact as possible. All right, so once we get that cartilage off of there, we can kind of find the two bones that are in the flat. And if you're looking at this, the two bones, they run just like this and we're gonna take them out individually. So again, turn this thing kinda of inside out. Look, we can already find one of the bones right here. So just like the bone we did before in the drumette, we work the meat all the way down and just pull that bone out. Now we'll head back up to the other bone there and we're gonna just kinda of work these muscles free be very careful with your knife here. This is a bit of a dangerous operation. And just like we did on the drumette, we're kind of severing anything that's attached there at the end. And push down. Oh, there we go. And then we can break that one off as well. I've left a little bit of cartilage behind here, so we don't bite into that. I'm just gonna take that off. All right, so what we have here is an inside out chicken wing. Turn that back out the right way. And this is completely hollowed out, hopefully with as few holes as possible so that the filling stays in there. But essentially what we're gonna do is stuff it to give it back its form. I finished deboning the rest of those chicken wings. Now let's move on to making the stuffing. We're gonna start off with one pound of Mexican chorizo and add to that a half cup of small diced white onion. We've also got a quarter cup of cilantro stems. And then last, one cup of Mexican quesadilla melting cheese. And the best way to mix it all up is just throw some gloves on and get your hands in there. So what you'll notice is we have the chorizo, which has lots of flavor to it. And then we add just a few simple things. The onion we add raw because we want to add some texture to this, but we dice it small enough that it's not offensive when you bite into a piece of it. The theory is the same with using the cilantro stems rather than the cilantro leaves. We just want to add a little bit more texture. And the stems of the cilantro actually have a ton of flavor in them, although they're often discarded. So this is a really great way to use those. And then we're just going to take that stuffing and fill up each one of these deboned wings. I think the easiest way to do it is just by hand. I'm not going to mess with a piping bag or anything like that. So just a little bit at a time. Gonna fill this deboned chicken wing up. All right, so check that out. Fill that wing right up. 
probably about two and a half to three ounces of filling in each one of those. So we'll kind of fold that over to seal it off. If you want, you can use a toothpick to actually close this thing up. All right, so fill it up, fold that flap over to close it. All right guys, it turns out we ran out of time to finish off the video last night, so we're picking up the next day. We just threw these chicken wings into a foil pan, covered them with plastic wrap, covered them with foil to keep everything nice and tight, and they sat in the fridge overnight. Now this is not a crucial step. You don't need to put these in the refrigerator overnight, but it's good to know that you can if you have to. Say you're preparing for a big party, for maybe a big football game that's coming up on a Sunday, and you wanna do this the night before so you don't have to worry about it day of, you can definitely throw these in the fridge overnight. We're gonna pick up where we left off and show you how to toothpick the ends of these stuffed chicken wings. Then we can get them seasoned up and on the grill. All right, so this is a good looking wing. We have one little hole right here. I'm not too worried about that. And then we've got the opening at the top. Now, you should have a little bit of flap that wants to fold over on pretty much all of these. What you can do with that flap is just poke right through with the toothpick and then kind of start to sew this going, if you can, go through the skin on the other side and then back through to that top flap. So this is sort of pinned together and you may still lose a bit of filling, but we've got these things packed pretty full so I wouldn't worry about that too much. In these spots where you may have got a little hole at the joint, you can kind of do the same thing with the toothpick, just a little back and forth through the skin there. and that creates a pretty good barrier to keep that stuff from leaking out. All right, we're gonna hit these with a little bit of duck fat to help the rub stick to the cold chicken. And then we're coming in with our seasoning we're using the Cattleman's Grill 8 Second Ride Carne Asada Seasoning for its big chili flavors, a bit of salt, garlic, and onion. Now if you prefer a little bit more mild seasoning, the Cattleman's Steakhouse would be another great idea. It's kind of a southwestern steakhouse seasoning, so it's got a lot of the flavors that would match really well with what we're already doing, but not quite as much heat. We're grilling these wings on the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. We're running pecan and cherry pellets today. It's set up for direct grilling on the left side with grill grates in place. Get the surface with just a little bit more of that duck fat. And then we're gonna go right over the flame with our wings. At this point you want to close the lid up, but don't run off for too long because what's going to happen now is all the fat's going to start rendering out of the skin and that chorizo is going to warm up and there's fat in there as well. And when that stuff comes down, it's going to do some flare ups and you're going to get some really pretty char on the outside, but you don't want it to get away from you. As soon as you get the char you want, you want to flip those over and get the other side some color as well. While that chicken's cooking, we're going to whip up a sauce to brush on the outside right as it finishes. We're going to start with a cup of Firebug Mild. This is a really great grilling sauce with some interesting flavors like blackberries as well as some ancho chilies. Really cool flavors going on. And we're going to put about a cup of that here in our food processor. And we're going to add to that some more chili flavor in the form of chipotles and adobo sauce. About a quarter cup of those. Now if you want less heat, adjust this down. Maybe just throw one of those peppers in there. And we'll finish this off with a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Just to thin things out and give us a little tang. And then just blitz this down. And what we get is this sweet and spicy and slightly tangy glaze to paint on the outside of our chorizo stuffed chicken wings. 
just starting to get some color after a few minutes. We'll let that keep going a little bit longer before we flip. Oh, it's a nice char there. See how the other end's doing? A little bit of color. So we'll rotate these around just a little bit. That's beautiful. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna give these a flip and kind of rotate them around so they can char up evenly. All right, so as you can see, we're coming right up on 165, which is where we want the internal temperature on that sausage on the inside. You wanna make sure you're dead center though, because if you're too far to one side or the other, it's gonna be an inaccurate reading. All right, so our chickens come up to temp, so we're going to hit it with some of that chipotle barbecue sauce glaze that we put together. Just paint a nice layer on the outside there. And then just to give this a little time to tack up, we'll close the door. About two minutes, it should be good to go. All right, that sauce is tacked up nicely on the outside, so we're gonna pull these off. All right, I'm ready to take a bite of this, but before we do that, I wanna slice into you guys and show you kind of the, the profile of the stuffed wing. Get rid of that toothpick. There you go, you get a little idea how that meat's just wrapped all the way around the chorizo. No need to serve this fancy, but it would look pretty good if you did. See how it tastes. Mm. Just some of my favorite flavors. I love chorizo and chicken together. It's spicy, not too spicy. The chipotle on the outside is really nice, but what really kicks that up is the sweetness from that fruity firebug barbecue sauce on the outside. Now, to show you how realistically you might want to serve these, just put them on a plate, these little wing tips. They're great little handles. You can take a bite right out of there. Now these stuffed chicken wings are good to go just the way they are. You could serve them with some of that sauce on the side for dipping if you like. Or another great option would be the cilantro buttermilk dressing that we featured in our go-to chicken wing recipe video. You can find that at atbbq.com slash the sauce. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see us cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue or barbecue legends are made.